Hi boys and girls, it's Jane Peterson with Washington Street. I am glad to be with you today. I thought that I would come to you and read a story about Jonah and the whale. Now if you'll go and visit the website wsmethodist.org, you can find an activity kit for all ages, coloring activities and some other great activities all about Jonah and the whale. So we hope that you'll visit the website and download that packet and enjoy it within the next week. One day, God told Jonah that he had a special job for him to do. God told Jonah that he wanted him to go to the city of Nineveh and warn people there that he would destroy them and their city if they didn't stop being bad. Jonah wasn't happy to hear this. He started to pout and then he got mad. He probably said to himself, what? God wants me to go to Nineveh? This must be some kind of mistake. Those bad, bad people? <laughs> There's no way I'm going to go to Nineveh. I wouldn't make it out of the city alive. He was scared. So instead of going to Nineveh, Jonah decided he was going to go far away from Nineveh as he could. He hoped God would pick somebody else to go and warn the people. Jonah got on a ship that was going to the farthest city he could find. He was really tired, and once he got on board, he went to the very bottom of the ship to hide, curled up, and took a nap. Soon, Jonah found out he couldn't hide from God, and God doesn't forget about anything. God knew exactly where Jonah was, and God wasn't happy with Jonah at all. He caused a huge storm to come up. The sailors were afraid that their ship would sink. They started throwing everything they could, get their hands on into the sea, and lighten up the ship. They all started praying to their gods to save them, but the storm was getting worse. And finally, they realized that Jonah wasn't helping. They went and got him and told him to start praying to his god. But Jonah knew what the problem was, and he knew that there was only one thing to do. God wouldn't stop the storm until Jonah obeyed, did, until he did what he asked him to do. So Jonah told the sailors to throw him overboard, and as soon as Jonah hit the water, the storm quit and all was calm. The sailors were so surprised that the storm had stopped. It was amazing. Jonah began to sink into the sea, going farther down and farther into the depths. But God didn't want Jonah to drown. He just wanted Jonah to obey him. God sent a huge fish to swallow Jonah and take him down to the bottom of the sea. He must have felt very scared and alone. He prayed and he asked God to forgive him for disobeying him. He probably felt ashamed for not listening to God. Then Jonah obeyed God and went and told the people to stop sinning. And they believed Jonah and God saved them. Have you ever done something wrong and then tried to cover it up or go hide in your room and hope your mom and dad didn't get too mad when they found out? <laughs> well, if you did, you were acting just like Jonah. And it doesn't do any good to hide, does it? Because sooner or later, you have to face up to what you did. You may be able to hide things from your parents and your friends but you can't hide them from God. The Bible says, Nothing in all creation can hide from Him. Everything is naked and exposed before His eyes. This is the God to whom we must explain all that we've done. When you're scared about something, it, instead of running away and hiding, God wants you to come to Him and ask Him for strength to face up to your fears. And when you do something wrong, instead of trying to forget about it or hiding from it, God wants you to tell him about it and ask him for forgiveness. The Bible tells us if, if, we, are conf if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from every wrong. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. So, instead of trying to hide your sins from God, tell God 
everything you did wrong, and he'll forgive you. We miss you. We hope we can see you soon. Have a wonderful and blessed week.